Okay, in this section of my Johnny 5 rebuild, I wanted to show some of the modifications and changes I had to make along the way in order to complete the circuit for the lip lights for Johnny 5. So originally, I started with this. 21 gauge ribbon wire. I thought it was going to be small enough, but after fiddling with it for a little bit, I realized it was just going to be too big for this model. So I had to go back and rethink my madness and come up with something better. So what I did was I turned to this 30 gauge magnet wire. I love this stuff. It works great. I use it whenever there's a tight spot that I can't get a lot of wirings through. And this usually does the trick for me. It carries the voltage properly. And like I said, I love this stuff. It works just great. So this is what I went with. Red and green, these little guys, and that solved my problem. So, I just wanted to show, this is the space that I had to fit the wirings for the lip lights. Not a lot of room there, so, you know, try cramming this through there, not happening. So, I'm still going to use the circuit, because as you can see, I've made everything modular. So, I'm going to keep this the way it is. This is the the LED circuit analyzer board that I built for it. It works great. I already tested it. It works fantastic. So I also got the same pinouts here. I got everything labeled. All I got to do is put the little enclosures for here so I can attach it to this. That way if something happens in the future and something breaks, I don't have to take it all apart. I can just take apart the part that broke, rebuild it, and then put it back together again and easy peasy. But I wanted to show all of the work that went into this before I put it all together and show you how the Johnny 5 lip lights are going to work. So let me explain some things to you and some of the things of what's going on here. So there is 19 lights times 2, positive, negative, and that's, that's a lot of points. I had to do that four times because you have this end, you have this end, and then you also have these four ends for this circuit. So that was 76 soldering points that I had to do. It took me about maybe six hours of work because I had to painstakingly strand each one and then test every circuit as I'm building it to make sure that I didn't put something together and then have it short out and not have to work and then have to figure out where the short is. So I tested as I went. And uh, I'm glad I did because it worked out pretty well. So now all I have to do is put it all together and then come back and show you how Johnny 5 lip lights are going to work and show you how the sounds are going to trigger the lips and it's going to be just great. So we'll be back. Don't go away. And we're back. So I have everything pre-connected. I got the preamp and the mp3 module and the new LED light circuit system all hooked up the only thing that i'm noticing is a little bit of feedback coming from the amp into the LED light i'm thinking that's either a ground problem or uh, excess power because i'm running a 60 watt amplifier for this with no volume control unfortunately this amp does not have a volume control so i'm getting a little bit of feedback but for the most part the system seems to be operational we can deal with that at a later time. So I just wanted to show you how loud and how clear this thing sounds. So here goes. Hello, bozos. Hello, bozos. As you can see, the lip lights trigger works pretty well. They are all light up as they're supposed to be. I'm just not sure what's going on with those four lip lights, but we'll figure that out. So. That about wraps it up for this update. We'll see you around next time.